Hey guys, uh, Jim back. Um, I had to start this video over again. I hit something. I screwed it up. The last video up, the button hit and clicked to shut up before I was done the video. So I have to start this over again. Um, I hope you can hear me with my fan running in here. I have to turn the fan on. It's just awful warm. The humidity. So I'm going to have my fan. I hope that's all right. But, um, yeah, hopefully that's all right, guys. But, um, there's Missy on the rug right there. My back's down Missy. You know, looking herself on the rug. What, you sneezing, Missy? <laughs> Missy! Wave to the cameraman, Missy. How you doing, Miss? Yeah, I see you got jewel all over my rug from you looking down there. I love you, Missy. But anyways, guys, I was going to unbubble this, but the video kind of screwed up, so I'll just show you where to come out of it. Come out of this book, uh, thrift box, which came from, uh, it's called Motor City Books, um, which is in St. Louis, Missouri. That's where this came out of. And, come, and the one I got, guys, is what's called All I Want to Do, which is actually out of print. So there's Christian Dunst, Gabby Hoffman, Rachel Lee Cook, Matthew Lawrence, and I think it's got some other guys. I know that one kid from the Sandlots in it, too. You know the one that played, um... Uh, he's the one that played the one kid on there, the like the really shy kid. I'm trying to think of his name from the Sandlot. I know he's on it too. Um, what's his name from the Sandlot? He played Smalls in the movie. I don't know what his real name is, but he played Smalls in Sandlot. He's also on this film too. And I checked the disc and everything, guys. The disc is in mint condition. The only thing is, I might have a couple pieces of dust on it. That's about it. But the disc itself is mint, except for that sticker, which I'll pull off. That should come right off. That sticker that's on the side right there. But yeah, so I ended up picking up all I wanted to do, which is out of print. So I'm finally happy to have this in my collection. There's no special feature or anything on it on this older movie, but I'm just happy to have the movie I can finally get around to watching this. This goes for the same amount of money on the Canadian Amazon. Last time I checked, I think the, the cheapest copy is like $72, I think. It's the cheapest copy of this, for the, this on, on there, online now. And maybe on the American one, you might be able to get a little bit cheaper in American money, but on Canada, it's just like $72 for this, which is insane. And I got it for a good price. I got it for like 8 bucks. The shipping and everything comes about eight dollars, which is a pretty good deal for this other print movie. And he was on not so I'll definitely get around to checking that out. Cause I'm the kind of guy I'd rather buy movies and download. Like I know I probably could have found online, but I, I like to own my movies and buy them. I like to own my movies outright and buy them and then own them because like, I get them a physical media collector. So I don't like downloading too much. So I definitely had to get around to find this for a good price. I did for eight dollars. So, and then I just got some other stuff, guys. I went up. I went to Super A tonight. And I picked up a few tiles and a couple of these for last time I went to Super A, so I'll show you them when I got. And then if I go to yard sales tomorrow, I'll show you what I pick up yard sales. And then I got some stuff from yard sales for other weekends I didn't show yet that I missed out showing you guys, which I'll show in the video tomorrow. So I picked up tonight from Super A St. Vincent on Blu-ray. This is replacing my DVD copy. I had this on DVD and I'm just replacing it with the Blu-ray copy. Bill Murray's excellent. That's why I love Bill Murray and St. Vincent. I picked that up on Blu-ray. I picked up two seasons of Boy Meets World. I, already, I only have the first season currently of Boy Meets World, and I have the seventh and the sixth season. These were $2 a piece to pick these up for. So there's a sixth and seventh season of Boy Meets World. I picked up Jason Bourne. Heard this was really good. Unfortunately, this just has a Blu-ray in it. Sometimes when you buy movies from rental stores, you don't get the, like, the combo. This is, this is missing the combo and everything, but at least it's got the Blu-ray in it and the slip cover, so that's all that matters. It's got the slip cover, so I'm happy about that. Just, it's just missing the DVD and digital copy, but I don't need that anyways. So, as long as it's got the Blu-ray, that's all I need. I don't use digital copies, and plus, um, the DVD's not that big of a deal, because it's not like I'm going to watch the DVD anyways. I'm only going to watch the Blu-ray, so. And then I picked up this, um, lately I've been really in the mood to watch Joseph Gordon-Levitt's films. I picked up 50-50, which I heard good things about, where he says he plays a cancer patient, where he ends up getting cancer. I picked this up. I still haven't took the sticker off the back of the, the number of the movie. I guess where, where the rental store kept it. I remember from the video store, still gonna take that off yet. But yeah, I heard this is really good, so definitely gonna check that out. I picked up Lucy with um, Scarlett Johansson from Super Ray. Looking forward to checking this one out, like Scarlett Johansson. I'm gonna be definitely checking this one out. Pick that up on Blu ray. This, this, this one now has the Blu ray DVD con with it and everything. This one's, this one's complete. It's got the digital copy. It's not like the Jason Bourne where it's just got the Blu-ray. This one's got the Blu-ray DVD and digital copy in it. So. Then they picked up Trainwreck, which is also complete. Picked that up down. I haven't watched it yet, but I will get around to checking that one out. And they picked up, because it was buy, it was buy two Blu-rays, get one free. So like, every time I bought two Blu-rays, I got for one free. I picked up the four, I picked up Trainwreck free, and then they picked up Ghost this time for free. 
uh, Patrick Shane didn't wear the classic ghost, and it's got a bunch of special features. I don't know if you can see them all or not, but you can see it clear enough. But yeah, it's just got a bunch of stuff with commentary inside the ghost the making of the classic, inside the paranormal. Um, uh, what else does it have? Cinema's greatest romances. Um, and a bunch of other different features so yeah, I picked up Ghost Finder on Blu-ray so anyways guys that was just a quick update of a few things I got in and um if I get anything at the yard sales tomorrow I'll show you guys my pick up at the yard sales tomorrow but this is just what I got at Super A video and then what I got in the mail all I want to do on DVD which is out of print so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this update and I'll see you guys on my next one take care guys I'm out say goodbye Missy say goodbye Miss I'm leaving Missy Say goodbye, baby. Did you get your toy? Hmm?